Today we're going to start building our firewood shelter, but first we have to level the land so that our firewood shelter is good and level. And we're going to do it with the old 67 International Harvester tractor. May the 8th, we're out here trying to build a fire or firewood barn and we're getting snowed on. You can probably see the snowflakes. It's almost like a hail. Well, I'm just about done doing the strapping. It's about 8 or 8 15 p.m. Look at the sun shining over the to the west there on the horizon just over the lake. I'm telling you it's gonna be a nice day tomorrow and I guess we're supposed to get some rain this later this week and the weekend that could change but warm temperatures are coming and that means planting season. Can't wait. Oh, I was going to show you my hoogle garden again, but I can't. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Put a whole bunch of that really good earth in there today. I can't wait to plant in that garden.
Well, I think it was about five days since we started this fire woodshed and it's finally just about done. I just have a few more screws to put on the metal roofing because I ran out so I had to run out to the store and get some. And along the sides in the back I want to get some more boards to fill in those gaps. It's too much of an opening. It looks funny. So we're going to get more boards and fill those in. So it's been a lot of fun building this uh, firewood shed because you know there's when you're using cedar posts you're not you don't your posts aren't in the ground like we didn't want them in the ground so I just wanted to put them on cement blocks so that creates issues but we were prepared for that because what happens is things move and also using a cedar post you know you may be at the bottom of the post and it's this wide and at the top it's only this wide it's a lot thinner so that changes the dynamics and everything again Plus I used rough cut, cut wood and some weren't cut like, you know, they're not perfectly cut or else they're still wet and everything too. And plus there's some with that a wow in them and all sorts of little things like that that uh, causes you issues. And also the metal roofing. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this. I spent enough as it is, probably $300 or something, which isn't a big deal, but the metal roofing, I had lots of metal roofing here left over from when we did the house and the garage. And I also got some metal roofing from my father who had some laying around his place, which was from a friend of friends of his who did their cottage. And they, he had just scrap pieces. So we kind of, we just had enough. I okay, this is how much metal roofing we had left. <laughs> and I'm telling you, we didn't hardly cut anything. Like the lengths, we didn't cut at all. We just, uh, some of them had three pieces there and we just kept sliding them underneath. And all we had to do is trim this side a little bit and trim the other side a little bit. And uh, that's all we had left. It's unbelievable. So yeah, that's it for the firewood shelter. I believe it's gonna hold about six, seven bush cords because we can also stack high enough too. So that's a lot of wood that's can sit under there and keep dry. The rain's gonna stay off of it. Um, in the winter, it's just going to get wind. Um, sun gets in there. As you can see, sun is halfway in there now in the evening, although we don't have much leaves. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be great for drying out our firewood. Because usually we just have them out here, on, uh, out here in the open with metal, old uh, scrap pieces of metal roofing on top to keep the rain off them. But that worked too. But you know what happens? Things happen in the winter, the frost goes up, the frost comes down, moves the ground up and down, and next thing you know, you got firewood falling over. We're in here, I'm gonna put skids down for a floor if I can find the bright skids I want. If not, I'll just build my own floor, cheap as I can. So we don't wanna put a lot of money into it, right? That's another thing. The last three, four days, we've had snow every day. And uh, today, look at it, it's beautiful. My neighbor, he just went out in his pontoon boat, and I'm thinking about getting my battery in my boat and some fuel and uh, taking my boat over to the boat launch and go for a ride, maybe do a little fishing. So four days of snow, not nothing heavy though, but cold weather, and today is like, you can, you can walk around in shorts. But I think it, the weather has finally turned. It's nice. So guys, again, thanks. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I have a video coming out. And we always have a lot of good videos coming out. We're always doing something like building a firewood shed. We could be gardening, all that kind of thing. And uh, hit the like button, leave me a comment below, and we'll see you on the next video.